number eight. This is 333 Crypto. And as always, we are here to discuss DeFi. Please understand, I am not a financial advisor. I am not an expert of any kind. I am merely a guy who makes videos for entertainment purposes only, so make no financial decisions based upon anything I say. All right, let's get started. So why are we here? Number one, we are a community. We are friends. And I do appreciate you coming to visit, to listen, to learn, to walk a path together. Now, you must understand this path is not straightforward. It is not simple. It is not easy. The world around you wants your money. The world wants your tokens. You have to be patient. You have to be like water. Water does not say to the mountain, move. I wish to come through. The water finds a way. The water is patient. The water moves through the cracks and crevices. And in time, a great canyon is formed. The Grand Canyon was formed by water, drip after drip, tri twist after turn, slowly and patiently. Do not expect to buy a token on Monday and to be rich on Friday. That is not how it works. That is called Las Vegas. Unfortunately, more people lose in Vegas than win. Now, why are we here? We are here because we believe there is value here. Now, you know me not. I am merely a voice. I am simply a sound in the, in the darkness, in the quiet. But there are folks wiser than me, and they too see the value in DeFi. Look, look here. It's real simple. Right here. I want to show you something, and I want you to see with eyes that see. I want you to open up your heart and your soul and understand what is going on. Look right here. This is a person who has a lot more money than you and I do. Exclusive. Galaxy Digital makes a bet on DeFi. Now this article is about one month old. And if you search, you can find multiple articles referencing this exact issue. That one of the largest people from Wall Street one of the people who has placed some of the biggest bets on Bitcoin and Ethereum has now decided to chase DeFi. Publicly traded Galaxy Digital, led by blockchain investment veteran Mike Novogratz, is a leading financial services and investment company. They have over $400 million in assets under management, and the man is not dumb. He is smart. I would love to meet him and shake his hand. He has done something wonderful in the world. He has found value for his, his, his customers, he has done good things, and he understands the beauty of crypto. He has bet on DeFi. Now, my expertise is not the financial market. I do have expertise, trust me. <laughs> I do have expertise, but it is not in the financial markets, okay? He does, and he thinks De DeFi is a winning bet. Now, if you were getting news on this, if Mike was kind enough to share this with the world a month ago, you can bet that he was probably moving into DeFi earlier than a month ago. Now, let's look at some charts here. Let's go to DeFi Pulse. Let's go back 90 days, okay? So Mike was letting the world know a month ago that he was getting into DeFi, um, so we can assume he got in earlier, and that may be part of the uptick, okay? But you also have to understand when they, that when they want something, when you have something beautiful and they want it, they take it. And I've showed you the technique over and over and over. They will drive it up, get you to buy it, and then they will drive it down and they will take it when you sell. You have to be patient. You have to be patient. Okay? It's that simple. And where I'm going with this is I bring you good protocols. I'm not bringing you the latest flip. I'm not bringing you the latest pump and dump. I don't buy a token a month before you and then sell it to you for 10 times what I bought it for. I share with you immediately. I am not paid by anybody. I never, ever have promoted a token for money. I've never taken a penny from anyone to promote any type of cryptocurrency. What I do, I do for me. What I do, I do for you. I have not many gifts, but I do have the gift of sharing, and I have the gift of being kind, 
and I am here to share and be kind and teach about DeFi. You need to make your decisions on what you want to do. But understand that if Mike Novogratz, if Galaxy Digital wants your DeFi token, they will take it. And they do it, you know, it's not their fault they have a lot of money to throw around. They do. It is what it is. As I said, they are sharks. We are minnows. We can swim along and take their crumbs. I promise you, the very same protocols we are looking at in DeFi, they are looking at. Because we are looking at the best protocols. I am not telling you to buy and flip and trade. I am telling you to be patient. I am telling you to be water. I would not share with you garbage. And if I note something is garbage, I will point out the, the errors in it, the mistakes, the things that are wrong. I am here to bring you the truth. Now, I am wrong and I am right. And you have to make your own decisions on you know, what you do and how you do it. So anyway, we know that they want to get into DeFi and they are getting into DeFi. And that's what we are doing. In one year, most everything we talk about will be worth more than it is today. There are things that will really be worth more than they are today, okay? And I discuss these with you regularly. So let's go down here and talk about what's going on in DeFi. Chainlink at $11.39 leads on our DeFi page. It's, it's up seven, you know, 5% for the week. Rep Bitcoin continues to just increase in value. It's number two. And again, folks, wrap Bitcoin is Bitcoin coming over to the Ethereum chain where it is being invested. And I, I promise you it's probably in DeFi and Galaxy Digital is probably part of that money moving over. And again, I know nothing about Galaxy Digital. I know nothing about Mike Novogratz. I'm just speculating. I'm trying to think like a thinker thinks. OK, that's what I would do if I ran the fund. That's what I would do. I would I would you know, manipulate things. It's not illegal. It's just the way the game is played. Uniswap at $2.54, I would bet is a victim of some of the manipulation that we are seeing because if you're wanting to get into DeFi, you're wanting some Uniswap. So my plan here is to average down. Now, Maker, folks, Maker was hit by that um, attack yesterday. I call it an attack because it was dirty pool. But what happened, as you know, anyone who votes, um, if you own a token of maker, you have a right to governance. And the, the votes, when uh, a governance uh, vote comes, the votes are weighted by the amount of tokens you own. Okay, and that's fair. I think that's fair and square. You know, a guy with one token shouldn't have more power than the guy with 100. But what happened in the vote yesterday was someone borrowed millions and millions of dollars worth of uh, maker, and then they staked it for the vote. They voted in the way they wanted. And then they pulled the money out and uh, loaned it, uh, gave it back to Ave Lend and uh, were able to manipulate the vote that way. And that's not how it's supposed to work. OK, so I do think Maker, at least what I've read elsewhere, Maker is currently um, saying, gee whiz, we didn't like how that went down. We're going to have to fix that. OK, and that makes sense because that shouldn't have happened how it did. All right. So interesting stuff over at Maker. You can Google that and uh, find more details if you'd like. OK, but Maker is a great protocol. If I am Galaxy Digital, I probably would want some Maker. But again, I know nothing about Galaxy Digital. Nothing. No more than you do, uh, you know, other than reading an article. So synthetics, again, remember I told you that derivatives is the future. Um, if DeFi Pulse, um, they had a little thing and, and they said that they believe derivatives are the future. And that's very true. And synthetics is the king of derivatives. So you can't lose by having synthetics in your basket. Let's go here to the top 10. Um, we're at 11.18 billion uh, overall locked up in DeFi. That's down from the height of uh, almost 13 billion. And again, if you remember, what do the big dogs do when they want your DeFi? They knock it down. Don't think we aren't being manipulated. You all know that my favorite protocol is C-O-R-E core and core is being manipulated. It is what it is. I don't wake up and say I bought core at 7K and it's now 3,500. I just go, wow, it's being manipulated. And then I add when the price is down because my goal is long term. 
my patience is decent. I am a patient person. And I look at a downtrend on a great token as a time to add because it's not about 2020. It's about 2021. It's about 2022. I also stake my core because I get a little money back every day. It's fun. It's interesting. You know, I, I enjoy seeing the returns that it gives me. Um, it's something beautiful. It's like kind of growing a plant. I like roses. I like pretty plants. I love the spring. I love watching a seed go into the ground and come out as a tomato plant or a bell pepper plant, whatever. And that's how I am. You know, that's why the whole analogy of DeFi farming kind of hits home with me. Because it is farming. It's about reaping from what you sow. It's about patience. It's about wisdom. It's about finding the gems. It's really quite beautiful. You just have to see it that way. DeFi is beautiful. So let's go back here. So we talked about Maker. We talked about synthetics. And then Uma. Ooh, Uma. We're going to keep our eyes on Uma because trust me, this one has some good news coming in the future. And clearly they are driving this one down. If you don't believe they drive stuff down, um, then you're crazy. <laughs> but this one is coming down nicely. And we're going to watch Uma, and we're going to wait. And when the time comes, we're going to attack and get some tokens. At least that's for me personally. That's how I'm going to handle it. But that's truly exciting. I'm going to show you later kind of how something is uh, currently being manipulated. And I've been talking about it slowly. Compound uh, up 1.7% for the week. You're in finance, folks. I told you if we're lucky, we might get this at $10,000. And look, it is slowly going down. I'm not sure why it is, but you know, if you remember here when we talked about it at DeFi Pulse, look at the money locked up 363 million. That's gone down quite a bit. Look at this. And that always is a red flag to me. And I'm a little concerned because look here, it's down from 942 million down to uh, 366. But Andre Cronier, who's behind this, is a genius. So don't underestimate him. You know, I have actors that I love. I have, you know, athletes that I love. And I always go with the person over the protocol. Um, now, there are great protocols, but a great protocol with a bad person behind it um, will fail. And, and Andre has a great protocol, and Andre knows what he's doing. So, we just have to watch. We have to be patient. We have to understand that the big dogs are probably going after YFI. Um, so maybe we as minnows can get something from the sharks. If you look at it in a good way, really the big dogs, the sharks, they do us a favor. Because if we understand their language, and their language is manipulation, if we understand good protocols, if we watch what they are doing, then we can actually benefit as they are benefiting. Um, when they pop it, they sell. When they drop it, they buy. They think almost opposite of how we think. So we need to think as they do. Um, it's tough. The newer tokens, like a core, when it first comes out, it's harder to play the newer tokens because sometimes right out of the gate, it just goes up and you miss the run, like with YFI. I think YFI caught a lot of people by surprise, and that's why it ran so hard. I think the big dogs now... If a YFI came out, they would manipulate it earlier, and that's what I think is going on with Core. I may be wrong, I may be right. Ave ah, Lend, another one. If I were the head of a big, big financial group, I would be telling my boys and, and my, my, the women that work for me, I would be like, hey, knock that thing down. We want some Ave ah, Lend. Do not forget this, people. Do not forget this. Zero X is solid. They do a lot of wonderful things. I'm just not convinced it's it's a great one. Now, here is the one. This, If you've been watching me here, I like Kyber. I use Kyber. I trade with Kyber. Kyber is a great DeFi protocol if you want to swap tokens. And I've been watching Kyber just climb slowly down for no reason whatsoever. I mean, the market's dropping, so that's a reason. But I've watched it just get crushed from almost uh, from 191 all the way down to half price. And what did poor Kyber do? It did nothing. It's just existing. It's just improving. Well, you know what? It's not Kyber's fault. Kyber, I believe, is being manipulated. Now, if you go here, Kyber even did some new things recently that I find incredible. I don't know why it's not letting me access it here. 
Um, let's go to Kyber's Twitter, actually. That's not helping me. Kyber actually set up, that's really weird. Let's go back here. Kyber actually set up um, a new, plat uh, a new um, protocol on their platform where you could stake Kyber, okay, and earn Ethereum, okay? Now that is huge, right? And that news came out um, just recently. Where was that at? Scroll down here a little bit more. They talked about over 1 million in ETH rewards have been distributed to Kyber Network holders who staked and voted on KyberDAO, Kyber.org. This is October 28th. So they have this new system where you could stake your Kyber on their protocol and you can earn Ethereum. And this is brand new and it's just come out recently and the token's been going down and down and down. Why is that? Is it because it's garbage and nobody wants it? No. I promise you it's because it's good and it has a lot of potential. And I do think the big dogs are accumulating. So we're going to keep an eye on Kyber, you and me, we, us. And we're going to kind of decide on when the time to buy is. Again, it's just uh, speculation. This is pure entertainment. Um, it's all fantasy. It's for fun only. But that's what we do. We walk through the DeFi world every day. And we talk about tokens and we try to find value. And Kyber, I was initially in Kyber around 60 cents. It went up. I sold. Um, so I might get my 60 cents back again. I doubt it, but let's keep an eye on it. Let's see where it goes. Loop ring down 20% for the week. Another good one. Ample forth up and down and up and down, up and down and up and down. It's almost like um, being bipolar. Um, very weird. So um, I like Ample Forth, but it's really just used for some tricky type of trading. It's not something I would invest in long term. Balancer, another great protocol. As a matter of fact, this one is one you, it's almost a must have if you're a big dog wanting to get into DeFi. And at $10.54, we're getting close to the buy zone. I am averaging down on Balancer and I do, I love Balancer, you know I do. Um, so we'll keep a close eye on that also. But again, people, we must be water. We must be flexible. We must be patient. I'm not saying you can't sell and then wait and buy lower. That's another opportunity too. That's what you can do. That's all your decision. But my point is, fear not and be patient. Now, Curve. Curve, look, it's finally making it back into some sort of ranking. It's up to 44 cents. But this one has been manipulated beyond measure. And I promise you, Matter of fact, it's not even speculation. I could show you how it's being manipulated by the big dogs, but I won't. It is what it is. We don't have time to get into that. So let's go there. And then, of course, AirSwap is one I'm keeping my eye on. Very interesting. I have some interesting things. I'm watching Andre Cronier too closely because he has some cool things coming out. The DeFi Pulse Index isn't going to swing a lot because it's an index, right? It's a basket of tokens. If I'm some rich guy and I just wanted to invest in, you know, 10 tokens at once, I could drop, you know, 50K onto this token. And in essence, I'd be getting a token basket of all these tokens. So it's not one you can really um, flip and make money off of, but it is one that is a long-term hold. And you can look here. It, I like it because they actually hold a good basket of tokens. So if you were just Johnny off the street, and you wanted to uh, find some good tokens, you could look here and see what they do because they're obviously putting a lot of thought into what they do. I think their token set here is awesome. I do, okay? Um, they're not dummies, we're not dummies, um, and we are walking this path together. So, and then let's go here to Core. I love Core. And there's a lot of scam tokens. There's a lot of BS. There's a lot of stuff that's not real. There's a lot of people that forked Core and they copied Core. And if you copy or fork something, it's good, right? That's why YFI was forked so much, because it was good. The people with the no, they say, wow, that's good, that's good. Well, Core is still good. Matter of fact, Core is great. You're going to see some wonderful things coming down uh, out of Core. Trust me, um, it, it just is what it is. Again, I'm not an insider. I don't know for sure. I'm just going off kind of gut instinct, how I feel, what I see. You know, sometimes life, it's like a great actor. Um, you know, there's just sometimes that X factor, right? Or an athlete. There's an X factor uh, about something, and you just know it's going to succeed. And, and I think Core has that X factor. 
The devs move slowly, and I don't look at that as a negative. I look at that as a positive. I think going slowly and being methodical is smart. I think uh, that is the way you want to do things. If you get something and it pops and goes nuts, um, it could drop just as quickly, and that is called a crash and burn. And I don't like crashes and burns. I'm more of a marathon guy. I want this to be done patiently and correctly, and I think that is what is going on over at Core. So I am still, um, it is still my number one choice. There's no doubt about it. And uh, I hope they prove me right, but I may be right and I may be wrong. But uh, I have to share with you my heart and I have to share with you my soul. So let's go to Twitter here. All right, so let's scroll down. There's always some fun stuff on Twitter. Um, now Harvest Finance, as you know, they were, they say, what? oh no, is there another hack? Um, if there is, I didn't know. Increasing the bounty for tracking down the attacker and returning the funds to one million. Here's what we know about the attacker. He understands flash loans. He understands arbitrage. He uh, knows the, uh, he understands Curve's internal code. He understands Ren BTC. Yes, you're right. The attacker was very smart and very savvy. But I really am not convinced the attacker did anything wrong. I think he simply exploited a protocol that had a weakness. Okay? And that is not a sin. It's, it doesn't make it morally right. You know, um, if you leave your money on the table, right, and I take it, um, I can't say, well, you left your money unsecured, so I put it in my pocket. And that's kind of what happened with this hack. The money was unsecured, they exploited something, and they took the money. I think if they would have made $100,000, it might not have been a big deal. But the fact that they made millions, it is a big deal, and they did take it from people. So, um, I don't know. It looks like Harvest is trying to make that right, and that's really what they need to do. Okay? So, we're going to scroll down here a little bit more. Um, I see things, folks. I see all these funny tokens, and I look into the funny tokens, and if I don't mention something, it's normally not that I haven't looked at it. It's actually that I don't think it's worth mentioning, okay? Um, we talked a little bit. Oh, how could I forget? How could I forget? Let's go here. We forgot about the KEEP token, the KP3R. Now, this thing, folks, and this is important. You have to listen. Look at that. How lucky are we? Look at that number, folks. $333.20. I promise you, I just randomly clicked on this. Now, let me ask you this. How probable is it that in this universe in which we live, how probable is it that the one second I decide to click on Keep 3 RV1, would it be at $333.20? I tell you that it is very improbable. If you look at the math of this event, the second, this is very improbable. I think this is beautiful. I think it's a special moment in the infinity, and we need to enjoy it. All right, I've enjoyed it. I hope you did too. But that is, that's crazy, folks. I promise you, look, my, my thing is moving here. I'll refresh here. I didn't screenshot this. I just refreshed it for you. Now it's $333.25. I didn't sit around here all day waiting for this to happen. This was a random event. And that just goes back and it tells you that life is not random, okay? It's not. Everything is meant to be. If you are listening to this video, it is meant to be, okay? We were meant to be, become friends, to chat, to talk, to learn. Our paths were meant to cross, so you must enjoy it. That is crazy, folks. Now, one thing I've been digging a lot on Keeper, okay? And it is supposed to peg to Ethereum, now, if something is supposed to peg to Ethereum, that means it should what? Be similar in price to Ethereum. And I missed this yesterday. So Ethereum is trading at 391. So hypothetically, this thing should settle in around 391. Okay. I may be right. I may be wrong on that. But that is what I understand after looking at it. Okay. Now, this keeper is quite clever. The protocol is very, very nice. I actually enjoy what they are doing. Um, and I'm going to keep a close eye on it, and I see some things coming off of it that will be quite, quite interesting. So we are going to pay close attention to Keeper. Um, it's a good, solid protocol. Congrats to anybody that got in at a lower price. Look at this price, folks. It's really teasing me right now. It's wanting to go to 333.33. If that happens, um, 
I may have to buy some. Now, I am going to buy it if it dips, but I, I really wouldn't want to touch it till it, it's probably half of the price it is today. Um, and that may never happen again. But trust me, we will profit out of off of this indirectly because when I was digging on this, I found some other cool things. And this will just lead us down another path that is a beautiful path. See, sometimes in life you may think you missed, but in fact you didn't miss at all. You were just led in a direction that was meant to teach. And I have learned something with this protocol. I've learned, you know, we had a guy in the comment section. There we go, $333.63. So we're going to get off of this now, but we're going to end with Keeper. Keeper's awesome. Um, I think it's one of the you know best new protocols that have come out. But right now at this number, unless you want to get that last little $60 uh, to where it settles in at about the price of Ethereum, I probably would just keep an eye on it. That's my opinion. So anyway, folks, I certainly appreciate you listening. I have the best viewers in crypto. Um, you know, my email's there if you ever have questions. I am going to set up a group. I don't know how. I've been thinking about how to set it up, and I'm not sure how to do it, but I'm going to. So have a great day. Know that I appreciate y'all. I really do. Um, God bless, and uh, good luck. Bye.